Oof. Hello, hello, everyone. I think we're live. Can you hear me well? Please, thumbs up. If you guys can hear me well. Yeah. That's cool. I'm going to make the uh, the whole stream in a horizontal position because we want to post it on YouTube later on. So you guys can watch it whenever you want. And yeah, I think this is going to be fun. This is going to be super cool to catch up with some people, to catch up with you guys. So nice to be... Uh, I can hear such a great names here popping up. It's so cool. Yeah, a lot of people. I'm so excited. Love to you guys. Yes, amazing. Yeah, so let me just explain to you guys how this is going to work. So this is going to take the course of two weeks, okay? At least for the first season, you know? Uh, I'm taking a two, we a two weeks break uh, to be working on my short film and... While I'm waiting for some pitches and, and stuff like that happening, uh, I decided to put something together for our community because uh, like during these crazy times that we are facing, I feel like people are living based on fear and I just don't want this uh, corona kind of thing affects our community in a negative way. You know, I just want to keep us creating for for better to keep us united and you know i don't know maybe if we can share some conversations here i think you'll be will be pretty cool right so uh i'm lucky to have made some pretty cool friends along these years and i invited those friends to help me out to share their perspective on everything and I'm super pumped that today we're going to talk to a pretty good friend of mine, Sebastian, who is like a super talented dude. I love his work and I have a bunch of questions to ask, to, to ask him. And the way that it's going to be, it's going to be like this. So uh, I'm going to have this conversation with him. Uh, we're not going to keep too long because I know he's busy. People are busy. So let's aim for something around. 30 minutes or something like that. And I'm going to open for questions so he can answer uh, some of your questions. So I want you guys to be part of this too. You know, it's not just about me and, and Curry. It's about our community. So I want you guys to be part of this. That's why I wanted to do like a live uh, Instagram. And why did I use Instagram instead of YouTube? Well, because it's easy. I'm old fella. I don't know how to do like Instagram. So whatever. I, I just want to keep easy and then they can upload it to YouTube, whatever. Okay. So without further ado, I just want to introduce you my good friend, a great genius, a great illustrator. Uh, he's Argentinian. Okay. You know, I'm Brazilian. So okay. But, uh, uh, but he's a good, good friend of mine. So let me just call him here uh i'm still learning how to do this guys so be patient uh, there he is the genius where are you there Hi, he man. is there he is um, how's it going man doing good doing good thank that's you that's nice that's what? nice thank you thank you so much for for being this no, thanks to you for inviting me. Such an introduction. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, man. Thank you. This is great. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. It's very cool, right? Yeah, yeah. I I am missing, you know, just talking with people. Like, yes. We are. Everyone is in their homes, and I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It it it's it feels great to do something. Uh, positive. Something good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel I feel like I'm in quarantine for for the the past five years because i've been working mainly from home uh mm -hmm. i'm not going to studios so and i miss talking to people i miss sharing you know information you know what kind of plugin you, you are using but you have a, a very interesting career that i want to talk to you about thank you man because when it's I, weird <laughs> more than it's, interesting yeah it's not <laughs> it's not weird it's it's different because when i met you it is different. you were a 
they were a badass animator, like a, a badass motion designer. You Thank know? you for the badass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was doing animation. Yeah, I remember. It was like um, now, two or three years ago. And now you were just a badass illustrator. <laughs> you, you, you... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you don't, so much. Don't you miss animating anymore? What's going uh, on, man? What the fuck? What, what, what uh, you... Yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, I, I always been moving on, you know, and trying to do new stuff. Uh -huh. um, before, I think when we met, I was doing a lot of After Effects animation. Yeah. Uh, Keyframes, you know, and like a lot of vectors moving and that kind of stuff. Uh, but before that, I was doing uh, 3D animation, like a lot of 3D, but like hardcore 3D, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, um, so, and before that I was doing post-production, like in Nuke, a very different, like live action stuff and color correction. Um, I don't know, I, I'm trying to, I, I'm very curious, you know, and then I try to, to keep it fun. And, and also it's, it was very hard for me to find a place where I will feel great you know and mm -hmm. and i've been jumping to different positions within the studios that i've been working um and at the end i found illustration you know mm. like and this this was like uh a bit after we we met at buck uh yeah and yeah. it's awesome you know i can i cannot say differently it illustration is amazing it's it's um it's a place where you have a lot of ownership you know you could I don't know, like there is a place for, for yeah, self-expression so, there. Sometimes, sometimes I see like people, they're just trying to mimic each other, you know, doing illustration. I love but it. what what I see in your work is that you found a specific style. It's it's you, you know. Thank when you. I, I like I don't know if you guys know his work. I'm just gonna share. He does like all this cool shit here. It's it's amazing. Like Truth. I love really, really. <laughs> Thank you, man. All this, all this, this is great, man. This is, this is so good. Thank you so much. So, Thank you. How, how did you come up with this, this style? Is it something that you, you, you explore for a very long time to, to get to this uh, final result or, or? Uh, well, you know, it's not a, it's not a thing, single thing for sure. Mm -hmm. I, it's, it's more like, um, like, um, complex process for sure uh, yeah. but i think maybe it started with me being like interested in in graphic design you know so i started graphic design and then when i was working on animation i felt that i could change some keyframes or some mm -hmm. style frames mm -hmm. to make them better uh and and i had you know within this, with the studios you work um with a lot of people and sometimes you get you're good friends, you know, with the art director or the designer. So you sometimes are good enough to say, hey, Seb, maybe mm -hmm. you will, will like to adjust this or. And at the end, I think I just really like more the position of a designer or, of a, or an art director than an animation director, just because I was. It was uh, before, you know, on the timeline, like you mm -hmm. always design and then after you do the animation. And I just wanted to have more control over my animation, you know? Yeah. Um, so it was about that. And I don't know how I ended doing illustration, you know? I think at BAC, you, you could find amazing illustrators. And it's I a, lot of, thought, a, lot, a lot of inspirations there, man. Everyone is amazing. It's like it very, is. It's, it's it, great. it is, it, it's crazy. And in, it's such a big scale. Um, I don't know, so many people. So I just, uh, I was sitting around uh, Sran Herrera and Audrey Yo and Audrey Lee, Amelia Gill. I don't know, like all, like very yeah. amazing illustrators. And I just started drawing because I wasn't feeling very connected to my animation work. Um, and it was kind of like that, you know, like very randomly. Just got course, driven, a, just got driven intention. with the flow. Yeah, yeah. into illustration, yeah. Um, That's cool. And it was great. I, I never, I don't know, as, as a kid, you know, I never draw and I draw a bit on the university, but it's mm -hmm. not that I'm not like a good drawer or what I was drawing. Well, maybe now, maybe now I, I can draw, but, but before, yes. After Effects animation doesn't have any drawing, you know, like you no. don't draw anything. You work with a mouse 
and yeah. more keyframes. It's very different. Yeah. So at the beginning, it was kind of challenging to draw even something, you know, like a circle or a square. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, but at some point, I, I felt that I was doing something really cool. You know, I like my stuff, and I feel that that's a stage where you kind of like um, understand that you're doing something nice, you know, because you're doing something that it makes you feel good, and then you do more, and it's kind of like a cycle. Yeah, yeah. And that's just uh, grew into what I'm doing now. Dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. It, it, and you're not even animating your own illustrations anymore, right? You're you're having collaboration with all like great animators like Hiki, Baroni, and yeah, a lot a lot of great people. Uh, well, I'm trying to do animation. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's such a such a hard comp, hard thing to to get around. I feel that animation involves a lot of people, mm -hmm. and or can involve a lot of people, and but involves a lot of time for sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. and. Illustration, it's a more simple task. So I really like about illustration that I can do kind of whatever I want, you know, and I can mm -hmm. uh, redo stuff and I, and I have a lot of control and freedom. With animation, I'm not as good, you know, I'm not <laughs> a are. character. You are, no, man. But, come on. But character, yeah. character animation, you know, is such a, such a huge, it's a, such a huge craft, you know, it's, yeah. it's really hard to understand how it is. Uh, yeah, it's 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 very different than character animation. And it so, involves a lot involves a lot of involves a lot of uh, patience. That's why I don't I don't do cell animation, for example, because patience. you know yeah. it's 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 like I'm an inches guy, cool. and and it's really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I and and I know a lot of people that is way better than me, like any, <laughs> like you and like so. No, come on. So so many. No, for sure. I like I I can recognize that I like my stuff, but I would love to work with an animator because it's gonna look better, yes, you know? Yes. So I always try to, to collaborate with people. And also, nice. I'm always at home or in my studio, and being a freelance, you know, can be kind of lonely. So, and I'm used to working in a studio with people, so I would like to grab a coffee or at least to have a Zoom call or, or something to just to chat about whatever we are working on. Nice. And, and I don't know when I started, but, uh, but I think with Henrique, when we did like a couple animations, it felt just great, you know? Like I could mm -hmm. uh, work more on the illustration side and he was doing amazing animation. So yes. we had like this nice collaboration. And I really like to find um, that kind of stuff, you know, when you, when you just try to push the bar a bit further. Uh -huh. and, uh -huh. and it's just me, you know, and my illustration. So it's, it's nice to have that control. It's so cool, yeah. man. It's so cool. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm so happy to, to, to catch up with you, man. Last time we talked, uh, I believe it was when you were, it was your last day at Buck, I think. We went for a lunch. I Maybe. went there. I went yeah. there. Yeah, I went there. We went to a lunch. And man, it was a long time ago. And then you, <clears throat> I don't know, you went, you went to Canada to work with uh, I, Giant Ant. I worked at Giant Ant, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it took me it took me some time to just to understand what I could do with illustration. Yeah, and and to make a living, you know, one thing is to draw and do illustrations. The other one is to work as an illustrator. It's very mm -hmm. differently. Mm -hmm. So when I went to when I went to Vancouver to Giant Ant, uh, I still was doing uh, animation, a lot of animation at studios mm -hmm. at Park uh, and at, even freelance. At that point you knew that you want to do only illustrations or you were in the no, middle of the transition? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a progressive progressive thing, you know? Like you start okay. doing something, then you get paid. Then you get paid kind of like an amount that you could say, okay, maybe this is, <laughs> this, I could get a living from this, you know? It, it is a progress. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like one thing is to want to, pursued that career. The other thing yeah. is that that's doable, you know, and, and I'm always being worried about money and like how I could make a living and all that. Yeah. So yeah. for me, I needed to have um, certainty, you know, it, yes. it, it, so it took me after going to Canada, I started to have a like, bigger projects and, and I realized that that, yeah, I was an illustrator. It was crazy because if, if you will ask me, 
what are you doing? You know, what, what is your work? I, al I will always say, as I'm an animator. Uh, you, you, but, you, you still say you're, you're not saying an animator. No, no. Now, now I'm saying that I'm an illustrator. <laughs> when, yeah. Okay. <laughs> when, you have, when you have to fill up those forms, you know, for you know, yeah, 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 for sure. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say, I will say illustrator now. Yeah, yeah. Very oh, proud. Very that's proud. cool, man. Yeah, yeah I, it's amazing. I'm so, I'm so proud of you, man, because you, you turn out to be a great illustrator, you know, like something was like deep, you, you in, know? deep inside of you. You were like hidden from everybody and amazing. I think, you know, I really wanted to, um, I always wanted to pursue something with my uh, style, you know, <clears throat> yes. even animation or, or whatever, you know, I, I always try to craft something for me and then I have my commercial work. But, cool. but with illustration, I feel that I found a space, you know, where my personal projects were very commercial. And it was yes. amazing. Uh, so at some point I started to do, I just started to do the same, I don't know, dailies that I was doing for me, mm -hmm. for Apple, you know, or for like Venmo or for like big Man. tech brands or whatever. And it was... Uh, it was amazing because I will do it for free. You know, I was doing, when I yeah. was working at, at Buck, I was doing illustration really early in the morning mm -hmm. or like late night line. And then at Janan, I was doing the same, you know, like yeah, yeah. before. It will be my, like, kind of like my side job or my hobby. Yeah. Um, so, so it felt great. Yeah. It, Man, it, 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 it was, feels great now, you know, it's like, kind of like surprising. To, it's so nice because I, I was, I was, I was with my wife the other day, not the other day, like, but, uh, I think last year, or I don't know when the campaign came out, but yeah, I was walking with her and we were passing uh, by this Apple store and I saw your giant poster in there, you know, and I told That's her, crazy. I know this dude. I know that know? guy. I yeah, know yeah, that yeah. guy. It's so, it's, it's so nice. I have like a famous friend now, you know, like, it's, so uh, it's so nice. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, the thing with the, yeah, the, <clears throat> the thing with working with big brands, I don't know, like we... At, at other studios, I think we, we've been mm -hmm. working with, with the same brands. You know, I, I, I was working uh, for Apple on projects with Buck on, mm -hmm. or with China. And, and you, get to, you get that exposure, you know, like, yes. I don't know, like a lot of people see your work. But it's very different when you're alone. It's very, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it just feels, yes. very, it, it feels <clears throat> very different. And, and I feel in, in the case of uh, illustration, there is a side of... Um, I don't know, you're treated more like an artist because uh, mm -hmm. the craft is, is you alone. I don't know why really, you know? But I feel yeah. that it's just like an older industry um, and they give you more space for sure. You know, when I do animation, I usually do a bunch of rounds of feedback and revisions. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that took longer than creating the piece, you know? And, and in illustration, that doesn't happen. I usually do my proposal, a bunch mm -hmm. of proposals, and I have a collaboration with the client, but we usually are on the same page, uh, usually. You know, sometimes it doesn't happen, <laughs> but, but we usually are, on the, it's, it's crazy, but we usually are on the same page, and, That's and, cool. I, and I have one or two rounds of revisions, and they're usually pretty cool. You know, they're like, this works, let's change this tiny thing. Um, and uh, that's it. The process for me Man. is um, it's impressive because mm. I've been doing animation. You've been doing animation for so long, you know, and yeah. and it's not weird to do, I don't know, like a month of revisions. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not weird with with big clients or or big mm -hmm. campaigns. But and, like for, like for sorry. example, you you you've been working with a lot of great companies right now. You work with Apple, for example, and it, Apple is a giant company, you know. It when is. they they reach it out to you, did you feel like a pressure? You know, did you put in yourself? Did, did you feel like intimidated by any chance? Yeah. You know, because, of, because right, it's such a great, know. such a great. Uh, uh, I feel excited for sure because uh, that's cool. <clears throat> just because the exposure that you get, you know, it's really big. So. Mm -hmm. Your mom is going to see it, but also, you know, like <laughs> random person in Korea is going to see it. Yeah. And then, you know, in, I don't know, whatever place um, they get, they have a store and they have stores all over the world. Uh, you will get um, recognition, you know, and someone will look at your work. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I feel excited when the project comes in and if the client is really big, uh, 
I am a bit, I try to be a bit more formal, but that's the only <laughs> difference, you know, like I yes. really, I really like to, I don't know, I just connect more with my work rather than uh -huh. the client. So when they come, it's amazing because um, I know that it's, it's going to be a good project. They're always um, organized and <clears throat> super friendly. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, you, you, sometimes you have smaller clients. Well, every client is smaller than Apple, but you get the smaller clients and, and they are, and they're equally cool. And sometimes, you know, you, you get some other sides of your work with other clients. And that's also very nice. You know, with big clients, you have to be very universal and very safe and smaller clients, they're more risky. And I always like to push that side of my work, you know, when sometimes risk is, is more about um, surprise, you know, it's not even that's risk, cool. but it's like, okay, I don't see that or, or that's new. Novelty is something that in, in marketing is not appearing a lot, you know, uh -huh. it feels uh -huh. like novelty, but it's, but it's not novelty. Um, so it's nice when, when I work with smaller projects or smaller clients and, and they let me do the risky stuff. Stuff, yes. Um, that's amazing because even, you know, like you could push your portfolio towards a different direction yeah. with a commercial project, you know, that you're being paid and also are exploring your, your work. And that's, that's impossible to do in a studio. For me, at least it was impossible to do it. Uh -huh. um, and as a freelance, it feels such a um, luxury. You know, it's just like, it's great. You, re you really want to go with the alternative option. Amazing, you know, like, <laughs> let, me, let me try to yeah, yeah. finance, whatever, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy. So I, I try to, I get really excited when I work with big brands, but, uh, but sometimes, I don't know, like we, we, with, the, with the years, oh, my computer. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think, you know, we've been working so many years and, and it feels uh, that the more you work, the less the client um, or like the, the size of the client uh, matters. You know, it's yes. more about, because I don't know, I, I, I see your work sometimes and, and I, sometimes I don't know who is the client. You know, but I remember, I remember, I remember the job like very clearly and uh -huh. I'm like, well, what, what is he selling or what is the product or, yeah, or what was the client? And I don't know, we, we just like crap or stuff. And, uh, yeah. And I feel we use these commercials or, or like the jobs that we have as a vehicle to show our art. That's it. And I, and I, and I really, really care about that. You know, and uh -huh. if I'm being honest, I just like, can see a commercial for Apple, and I will say, this is uh, the animation on this. I don't know, character is so nice, or like the color palette is so nice, and maybe it's uh, the new MacBook MacBook Pro, you know. But I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what are they selling. It's like, oh, I didn't know. No. Yeah, man, that's. I, cool. I usually don't pay attention. Yeah. To that, um, right? Yeah. Yeah, but and I feel it's kind of like a thing in the industry. Like we all, we see all the time, or we, yes. we watch all the time commercials. Mm -hmm. um, but we never pay attention to to the brand itself to the brand itself yeah yes. yeah, yeah for sure yes um, yes yes but i don't know it's just a way of working yeah no same thing or here just, or just me yeah same, same thing here and uh you you uh you uh, is you working for studios or you don't do so studios anymore i would love to do more studio work because they i just feel connected to the motion graphic industry you know mm -hmm. um i'm such a such a fan of uh, a bunch of studios, and I, yes. re I would love to do some stuff with them. But what, ha what happens to me at least is that um, the illustration industry works very differently. You know, I don't work on day rates, so I never work like a full time on a project. I usually get oh. a couple projects and I work on them in a with a schedule. So when I get um, a brief from a studio, they will usually say, hey, are you available? And I'm always an available full time. You know, uh -huh. I, I always available. I always do projects. Sure. But I'm never, but I'm never full time available. That yes. Is, and that's very different for a studio. And I, I understand because I've been in on the other side. So yeah. check in in the morning, dailies and all that kind of stuff. It's something that um, I cannot do now. And uh, the other thing is that I learn, I don't know, that there's something really nice about having more time and just uh, getting a schedule, you know, like I like to have, um, let's say, I like to have a first week to do a first round of sketches. 
-hmm. And I like that week. I need to have three days, you know, five days, just, um, just so I can do different kind of drawings. Like maybe a Monday I will do something and Tuesday is going to be very different. But at the end, you're going to get, you know, like the two sides. Um, also, you know, the timing, it's nice because at the end of the project, like maybe if you started on Monday, you know, on Thursday, you can see all the project that you, you're working and that overall view, it's perfect. You know, you're your own client. So you try to adjust the stuff that are off. Uh, you just finance the stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I feel the way that I work now is just way it's just more clever maybe, you know, because it's, uh, I have more time, mm -hmm. but also I give more time to myself, you know, to, to create something. And That's I, cool. I don't know, I just try to be like very responsible because I know that um, it's really, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of pressure to, to be the client, you know, the provider yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. So I try to be very professional on that end, you know, like the stuff that I'm gonna show, I really believe on that stuff. You know, I think it's really good. And I'm always going to be really honest um, about the work that we do, a uh, client yeah. and me. So, so working with the studios is so hard because um, on a daily basis, I need to provide style frames or sketches. You have to follow their and pace, right? I, ha I have to feed, yeah. And, and I will, I think I'm going to try to find some solution, you know? At the end, I'm going to try to say, okay, let's do dailies, you know, maybe this is going to work. But I feel that... Um, the lack of um, control that I have over the, the work that we're going to do is something that I'm always going to be struggling. Yeah. And also, you know, I don't know. I feel it's, it's like a give and take. You know, I would love to do projects with, uh, I don't know, with Buck or with Gunner or with Odd Fellows or Jan Ann, you know, yes. like, or so many studios. But it's very hard for me because they need to, to fit me in a pipeline, you know? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and I don't know how to, to get around that. Um, yeah. but it's hard. I don't know. I feel on uh, animation studios in motion graphics, they work in, um, there's a standard way to, to approach to a yeah. project. Yeah. And me as an illustrator, it's really hard to, to get around that. Uh, but I feel that a lot of illustrators are kind of like outside of that machine just because it's really hard for us to, to be full time available, uh, on two weeks, you know? Yeah. Um, the other thing, you know, that I really like about illustration is that I, I get projects and I get a brief. Uh -huh. So I know who's the client. I know what we're going to do. Um, of course, you know, the visual references is going to feed my language, the, the work that I do. But also, you know, I, I can get all the information about the project. And that's amazing. It when is. I get a project from a studio, it's usually, hey, so we have a project you are perfect for this. Uh, what is, <laughs> yeah. what is, what is your perfect day rate? Fit. You're a perfect uh, fit. Are you available? <laughs> and I'm, I'm always sure, yeah. you know, it, it, it depends on the studio, but sometimes, you know, I, I am a very big fan of uh, a lot of studios. And I'm like, dude, I love your work. I would love to do this. But what we are doing, you know, like, okay, yeah. what, what is this project? Just tell me. And, yeah. and, and I feel, you know, they have to reach so many people that yeah i know that they gave me some important part what are we doing you know yeah um so <laughs> so i don't know i'm just trying i'm just trying to find a, a better way to to do to do work you know sometimes yeah. it, i feel i like i work uh i work like 10 or 12 years in the studios in, in different studios a lot of studios in latin america but then i work at park and then in china and, and united states and canada they they're very different Man, um, yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah, so that, it's so cool, man. Yeah, to see your process and to see. So you're working mainly from home right now, right? Yeah. So we well we move a lot uh, over the last four or five years, but yeah, uh, right now, well, right now with COVID, we we moved to LA and we are working. I, I say we because my wife is also working from home. Sure. So we are working from home, but then in Vancouver we had um we had a studio. And, and it was amazing. I think that's, I don't know, I like to be freelance, but I like to have people around. Mm -hmm. So it was my, it was my initial plan um, to put a studio here in LA and, and yeah. kind of like share a space with friends or, you know, with okay. some artists. That's cool. the idea. So, you know, you know, maybe you're invited, you want to commute to the maybe, side maybe. of- <laughs> Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but the idea, it will be all our, our plan before COVID 
it was to to put a studio and to, nice. to share with four or five people, you know, maybe you that's have cool. lunch together, you grab a coffee, um, just talk about life. Yeah, dude, that's amazing. That's amazing. Let's yeah, let let's, let, let, let's get back. Let's get back a little bit because you, you, you're from Argentina. You, yeah, from Buenos Aires. You, you came for uh, to United States, then you you went to Canada, then you yeah. went to Spain, right? We went to Barcelona. Barcelona, yeah. and after that, you and came back. You came back to to. Yeah, Italy? we came back. No, we so we were talking you're with a, my wife. You're this, a gypsy. We are a yeah. We, <laughs> a we are gypsy. gypsy. Yeah, we are. Cool, we man. are an illustrator gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we so we realized we realized that we really like to travel. That's um, cool. I think that's key. Yeah, we. It is. We didn't know that, you know, we came to LA and we kind of love this thing where you, every day you woke up, you know, and you go to a coffee or you go to a bakery or whatever, and it's, and it's new, you've never been there. And that kind of, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, so that feeling of um, something new, just like uh, get lost, you know, when you stay That's in some cool. place. Yes. So what we tried to do two years after coming to LA was to redo that experience and we went to Canada. Mm -hmm. And then in Canada, we stay, well, I, I jumped into freelance full time and my wife did the same. So we were two freelance persons uh, staying in a place and that was like, okay, maybe we are not taking advantage of being freelance, you know, uh, and young. So we mm -hmm. said, maybe we could travel and we work a bit we had a studio, we had to, uh, like logistic, you know, it's a thing that you should care when you travel so much. Yeah. But what we just said, okay, let's do Airbnbs for a year and let's try to go to Europe because we wanted to go to Europe. And we used nice. Barcelona as a base and, um, and we went to a couple of places and it was amazing. It just, That's great, like, we, we, we travel even more, I would say, you know, like we, we've been traveling every two years, we will move to a new city. And then past year, we should stay like months on places. Um, and it was, uh, it was amazing. It was, it can be also tiring, you know, like I know. traveling too much. Yes. You know, uh, but it's both, it's, it's both things, you know, it's like, it's really exciting. Uh -huh. And then it's like, I really don't care where I am. I want my home. And then it's like, it's really exciting. And then it's like, I need to go to my house. And then it's really exciting. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We just. Try That's to, cool, man. To keep it and, fun, yeah. And and since now you are working mainly with illustration, like 100% with with illustration, you don't need like a this huge <laughs> setup. You can take your setup with you, right? Yeah, it's just so we. What, what, a, what, what what's your setup? Yeah, the setup. So it's my MacBook Pro, uh huh, and a Cintiq, a 24 inch Cintiq. Um, I have um, I have a keyboard. Cool. Because my back. <laughs> it's a man, so I need like a big keyboard, uh -huh. and I and I usually try to buy a second monitor, just because I'm just lazy and I like a second monitor there. Uh, so cool. I close I close the laptop, and I work with the Cintiq and the monitor. Uh, so and that's that's that work that works for illustration. For you're illustration, most, you're mostly a Photoshop guy, or you do do you use Procreate by any chance or Chrome Photoshop? I use Procreate. Well, I started. Uh, so since I started working with Apple, one time they they sent me an um, an iPad. Oh. And yeah, and I was uh, I don't That's know cool. I I thought it was too expensive to invest on an iPad because I had my Cintiq and mm -hmm. it it feels like a toy compared to the Cintiq, you know. Nice. It's uh like I feel that for professional uh for professional uh, results, you you uh -huh. should work at a higher resolution with Photoshop. Well. Whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. for feedback and other stuff. So, uh, but you know, uh, I got surprised because I started doing a lot of stuff with, with Procreate and the yeah. iPad. Just, it's too convenient, you know, like you should go it to is. the park, you will draw, you just... I will go to a coffee, I will draw. Um, so it was great because I usually, I, you know, when you draw, so you usually think about drawings and sometimes you just forget about the drawings that you're trying uh -huh. to, to do. Uh -huh. If I have my iPad, I will try to go to a place and just throw a bit. And I will work more or like more unevenly, you know, in different sure. moments, different places, and different scale. You know, the iPad is way smaller, so just 
the way that you draw and the hand moves differently. So it would create a different kind of work, uh, mm -hmm. I would say. So I did a bunch of stuff with, with the iPad and I'm still trying to explore what I do with, with that. But it, it's always for like for professional projects, I usually end sure. on, no, I forever, yeah. I always end on my Cintiq and Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I started on, on, on the iPad. And I feel now I sketch a lot on the iPad. Um, That's unless cool. I Unless I don't have time and I have to. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not an amazing drawer, you know? I need like my huge Cintiq, I need Command yeah, C, yeah, I, need, yeah. <laughs> I need a lot of tricks, digital tricks to, to Shortcuts, create. you know, like the shortcuts. A lot of shortcuts, like the, yeah, the yeah. finger yeah. going on, yeah, I know. A little of stuff, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but, but it's pretty simple. It's just Photoshop yeah. and, and a brush. Just but I like, I like how people are investing on the Procreate, you know, they, they're putting out a lot of great brushes, a lot of great I think it's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Um, I am impressed. I am really impressed about how you could work with, with mm -hmm. Procreate, you know, and I do a bunch of stuff. I just think that I'm too bad to do a final thing, you know, and, and so it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but, and I'm so used to Photoshop, you know, I've been using Photoshop for so many years than using a new tool, I don't know. Uh, it always feels awkward because I'm just used to, to Photoshop. But, um, mm -hmm. but, it's, but it's really convenient. And, and as I said before, you know, you can be on a train drawing for a project. Like I, I remember just I did projects on, on planes, you know, like when, mm -hmm. when you travel a lot. So what you do in a plane? And I, I will do sketches. I will sketch a yeah, lot. Or, that's cool, man. Or uh, I love to grab coffees. And, and we usually, when we go to a new place or a new city, we usually just explore coffee shops. So mm -hmm. we, we go to a coffee shop, I draw a bit, go to another coffee shop, draw a bit. And yeah. that's kind of like we do. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the technology is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's cool, really man. good. It's cool. Yeah. So um, I, have, I have a couple of quick questions for you. Please, man, yeah. And I want to open for people to, oh, your wife is here. She's watching you. My wife's actually, oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but my home is not that big, so she should be, she should be like a couple. Is she, it, is like. she good? Last time, last time uh, uh, I met you guys, she was working for this tea company, right? She's, she's yeah, still so working on she, this. She also same, did. Are same. you following her on Instagram? She's amazing. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's great. So I moved to, she's, she's great. Uh, I moved <laughs> to illustration. She moved to textile design. So oh, we, really? Yeah, That's we're kind of reckless. Man. You know, we were like, just fuck the, the job that we are doing. Uh, let's, uh, let's switch it up. And we, so I am doing this illustration stuff. Uh -huh. um, and Monkey started doing rugs. She's so next doing time. like uh, wow, that's, fantastic rugs. That's and cool, they, it's really cool. They, they look really nice. So uh, I, I feel, you know, the more we, the more we live together, we've been living together for more than 10 years now, 10 uh -huh. years and something. Uh, uh -huh. The more we do stuff together, and now we are kind of like in this designing path. Uh, yeah. So, so she helped me with a lot of stuff of my illustration thing, and uh -huh. I help her a lot with her work. And and I feel we, you can see her work on my stuff and my work on her stuff, and we kind of that's like, that's great. I know she she's she's the best. She has, she has the best like uh, attitude ever. She's super nice, super kind. She's amazing. Yeah. Way, yeah. way better than me in English. Well, way be way better than you. She you will know, do. You know, you know <laughs> let's switch it up. Let me call her. <laughs> yeah, no, man, but, that's, but, that's yeah, yeah. cool. We, that's... Should, we should grab a coffee or something. Well, of yeah, course, you'll be great. of course, man. That'd be amazing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll so let, let me just jump to the questions. Uh, <clears throat> oh, sure. And uh, like, I have a question for you. Is there, do you guys have, do you have like a specific dream client? Something that you would love to do? Like maybe it yeah. doesn't have to be a brand. It, it no, could no, be like, sure. I don't know, maybe a personal project, do a comics or whatever, or something like that. It always, I feel it always changes, you know, because you, you kind of get what you want and you want a different client with a different project. I mm -hmm. always change my mind, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, but I, but I feel, you know, perfect client is the one that comes with, a strong brief, strong visual reference from mm -hmm. my portfolio. You mm -hmm. know, if they like the stuff that I do, uh, then it's like thumbs up. Uh, That's cool. And they usually, 
And and I feel if they come with an open mind, you know, I usually try to be very professional and, and I try to create something that is not unexpected. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, this fit what you are asking, but also fits what I want to create. Uh, and those meet in, with a lot of clients. And those are the projects that I try to do usually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, I don't know, I, I, I always try to get my my side projects uh, also around, you know. So I'm nice. doing, I'm trying to do objects, but I'm really bad. You know, I, I didn't know how to draw. I learned how to draw, but then like creating stuff, like real stuff, it's so hard. So I'm it trying is. to see how, how we do it. But then you're going to talk with Simon next week, yes. I think. This week, so we actually. Doing, this week? This I, week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to that. So we are doing, uh, I've been drawing a lot of hands. Uh-huh. I don't know why, but, but hands. <laughs> and uh, I did some, I did some uh, posters with hands. Yes. And so we are doing uh, sculptures with another kind of basis. So we are doing that. I'm doing pottery with um, oh, man, that's cool. an artist from Barcelona. But, you know, it's, what, what happens with those projects is that you don't know where they're going to end. So you always work, do stuff. It looks really bad. So you redo all the stuff and it looks bad. And you just keep doing work until something came, comes, you know, and it, and it comes up and it's, uh-huh. it's nice and, and you like it. It takes more time, you know, yes. it's just like it takes more time and and they are not paid jobs. So it takes way longer. I've been yes. doing like the hands for just like a month or something. But then the pottery stuff I started last year uh, and so many projects, you know, I usually do animation also on the side a lot. So uh-huh. when with people, you know, with friends or I know so many good animators from my yes. background studios, I usually am like, hey, you know, I could draw something and maybe you will like to move it and we could talk about and I try to do something different with that. Uh-huh. Um, so I did one with Henrique um, for these guys. Uh, do you know Buddha TV? It's yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So they do this clapping collaboration with a lot of artists. And uh-huh. we, did, we did one with Hendike, uh and it was with a, I don't know, just like a reduced color palette. It was a bit different. I used outlines and and I was trying to just to explore again my, my drawing. Um, I don't know. So I, I feel that I really, now uh, that I have more control on the stuff that I do, uh, I try to get paid for projects for sure and pay my bills mm-hmm. but with the rest of the time I, I i get care of my stuff you know so i i'm gonna be like okay i'm gonna do a project with simon because simon is really good yeah. you know and i would love to to see Bad what ass. we could do and we are doing these hands or or with Hedike, you know when he is not doing a hundred animations so we are like hey dude just give me a couple hours let's do this this is gonna be awesome <laughs> and and we do something just for for the fun of it that's and, cool man and i don't know so I, I think those clients are the ones that that i that i like to have but then you know you have those two sides and i feel they're they're healthy to have you know you sure. get very commercial side uh you do what is expected what is very uh i don't know in advertising in in marketing you you know kind of like the stuff that you will they are useful uh-huh. and useful but then you know maybe in in other realm in, in another industry maybe in the arts industry or in the whatever i'm putting this out there and i don't know what it is but it looks cool industry uh i i try to push that side also and sometimes there are a crossover you know some yes some things from the commercial world come here and and I'm just trying to understand how I could do more of that stuff. Um, just because I like it to keep it fun. You know, I, I really like what I, what I do, but I know that I, if I repeat a lot of, I don't know, if I have a hundred projects with Apple and I keep doing uh, these uh, amazing collaborations with them, at some point I'm going to be like, okay, maybe I would like to do a different project, you know? Like, yeah. Let's, let's do something different. And I'm always going to try to change that. Um, to something different that I don't know what it is, uh, but I try to to push that that side. I, I feel that that's good for me. You're it makes you're me feel good you're, you're a sure. truly you're a truly artist, man. I love that. You know, you're very passionate. <laughs> Thank you. you. That, that, uh, that's great. I just know, I just really like my stuff. You know, I feel you are an yeah, artist. You know, and yeah. so so many people. Yeah. Um, how, let, how, I don't let, know. 
how lucky we are to be working in something that we really love and we care about, you know, like, I feel like we're in this community, like the motion graphics, <laughs> illustrators, and like, people that work with uh, the, this artist part, we are super lucky, you know, to be working and pay our we bills, are, yeah. doing something that we love, you know, it's, it's great. You know, I always, so I always talk a lot with my family and my dad is a taxi driver and my mom is a teacher. And mm -hmm. I feel my mom likes to be a teacher, but my dad always hated to, to be a taxi driver. You know, he's not like, he's not like a taxi. He likes to, yeah. to go fishing and do all this stuff, but taxi driving is not like a thing that you dream. I know, when yeah. You're a kid, you know, like, oh, I watch. Or maybe you you sometimes you do, don't have but... options, you know? Yeah, sometimes you don't have and, options. You just have to. And I feel, yeah, they had to do that. And, and I just feel so lucky, you know, when, yeah. when I was younger, when I was young, um, I will say to my dad, hey, you know, I want to find purpose on my work and I, and I want to try to create something with meaning. Um, he will look at me like, you are crazy, dude. Like, you need to pay the bills that, you yeah. know, like that, kind of, that kind of discussions. And, and now that I'm doing this as a career, um, it is incredible. You know, it's incredible. Like, it's, I, I wouldn't it's... believe that I could do this. It's a, yeah, it's a different generation. Yeah, it's a different generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, fingers crossed. You know, yeah. I hopefully this keeps going. I always try to to be very responsible of the stuff that I put out there. You know, and try to create good work. Uh -huh. um, but you never know. You know. Yeah. You never know. We but never we, know. Yeah. 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 I'm I'm really thankful of the of everything that happened. Dude, like, illustration is being so so nice with me it's For amazing real. it's amazing yeah, yeah. It's and i can amazing. see i can see through your work that you're putting a lot of love and a lot of stuff in there because it's it's pretty amazing it's it's out of the yeah thank you i i really i really like to i feel like we we all as a group you know mm -hmm. uh we kind of have this um conversation you know mm -hmm. with our work like mm -hmm. you put something out there just put and... it out put it out and it's like, okay, that's amazing. You know, I think I'm going to do some collage thing like mm -hmm. Ariel, blah, 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 put, put out there. Like, yeah. okay, have this. And then, you know, someone, Simon comes in and say, mm, maybe I'm going to do a 3D mix, mixed media, boom. boom. And, and I feel like you can see all, you know, ourselves, like our own list. In there. You know, like we are the same. Yeah, on there, like we are this community where we see each other stuff and the good stuff gets copied. Yeah. But it's not like a bad copy. It's just like, like you're doing something, you know, late at night. It's not for a client. You're not stealing yeah, and yeah. just like um, ripping off our work. You know, it's just trying to create something better. You know, or like totally with your with your statement on top or whatever. So yeah. I, I feel that um, I I know I I always try to do uh, something that feels relevant for for us. But also I feel it's a, it's a conversation sometimes. I don't know. I am such a fan of um, Joy, you know, Shawn Um uh, No, I don't know her. I don't. I don't like her at all. Yeah, I don't like it's, uh, her. Too. She's yeah. so bad, you know. She's so bad. I always tell her, "You should quit. You should quit." <laughs> so, uh, but I, yeah, yeah. Um, I really like how she used color, and and I think you could see her stuff in all my stuff, you know. Yes. Uh, or like, let, let, let me just make something it. clear because people might think that I really don't like Joy. Choi, 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 yeah, no, Choi, Choi is a good friend. I just no, no, said she's, a, that. she's a good friend. Yeah, I, yeah. Just, I just said that as, as, a, as a joke and things like that. Yeah, but yeah. Choi, Choi is well, the sweetest person I ever, I ever met. And yeah. as Esteban, um, he has the, the best hairline that I ever saw in a man. You know, <laughs> like he's, but, but he, it's super skilled too. Like amazing, yeah, amazing yeah. people. I love amazing guys. couple. Um, amazing guys, yes. But yeah, I, I feel it's, I don't know, it's just <laughs> nice to... To yeah. keep pushing that, you know, and yeah, do yeah. stuff and just try to create something. Yeah, nice. yeah. it's great, For man. Sure. Yeah, so let, yeah. Me just, let me just pull up some questions from people here. <clears throat> uh, wow, I have some. Uh, let me just. Okay, so I have a, a question from D E dot B S. Thanks for, for participating. And uh, her question is, what kind of exercise can I do to improve my animation skills? So let's switch that to illustration skills because we're talking about illustration, if that's okay. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, I should say that if it's character animation, Hideki has a really good uh, course. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is, but uh, I tried to do it. I'm super lazy, so I, in the middle, I just, well, okay, I think animation is not for me. But, <laughs> um, but it's amazing. It's, uh, it's really good. And he's a really good teacher. I worked with him a year, so I was like, I'm not going to do your course, but you should explain me this. Um, and he was so, so good. Um, for illustration, uh -huh. you know, I think it, you should, uh, there's a lot of stuff out there. I really like, like my, my style of learning things is to buy books. I mm -hmm. think they have knowledge in a way that I like to uh, understand. I don't know, like, they are more deep than a video. And it's just, I don't know, I just like books. Mm -hmm. So I usually buy a lot of stuff from big illustrators. I like uh, Milton Glaser a lot. I love, um, yeah. So I think his books are amazing. Yes. Um, I'm trying to look at here because I have a couple, but... Um, I think reading books is amazing. Uh, I would say I just move and I don't have a lot of them. But let me show you one. What is, what is um, what, what, okay, go ahead, go ahead. So, sorry, I just move and I just mm -hmm. have a couple, but for example, I have this one. Oh this one man, really I love this book. It's called yes. uh, Visual Comparisons. And this one is from, mm -hmm. it's from three people, but I really like Bob Gill. Uh, if you can find anything from Bob, Bob Gill, yeah. it's, I think it's really clever. It's and no, it's not about the style, it's just, it's just about how they think about um, illustration. It's the thinking, it's the thinking. It's yeah. the thinking, yeah. yeah. Uh, when I was, I don't know, for me it was really hard to start doing illustration because I, I didn't know how to draw and I'm gonna be like really clear, I didn't draw out anything. Um, mm -hmm. And I found Bob Gill and he was doing this kind of like kids drawing, like mm -hmm. very sketchy and and um, I don't remember which which book I was reading, but he was um, he was trying to explain that uh, you don't need you don't need to to draw like an artist, you know, like mm -hmm. knows how to properly draw. You could approach this as a graphic design uh, subject or problem, you know, and you could create solutions with drawing, you know, around that. Mm -hmm. And I started to do a lot of uh, geometrical funny shapes or um, just like uh, scrabbles with some kind of meaning. And if you can communicate something, you are drawing, you know, it's just that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, for me, it was amazing because it was like, okay, I can, I can draw with these tools in this space mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. and it, it works for me yeah it's great and man. i learned to i learned to draw yeah after two years i can draw man yes i have another yeah. question here it's a really nice question from uh sorry because i'm turning my head because all the, the answers are this well like the questions are this. The <laughs> yes adam uh wolves here sorry if i'm mispronouncing your name but i have a really nice question here uh he says I can only work from home because of anxiety disorder. Do you think studios will be more open to hiring remote animators and illustrators now because of the COVID? The COVID? I don't know how to answer. I don't know the studio owner. Um, yeah, but in terms but of in I'm terms of business, pretty anxious guy. Yeah. So maybe maybe I think you know what is important. Maybe is to. For everyone, right? For, even yeah. for the studios, I think what we all are trying to do is to create trust yeah. with our portfolios. You know, what I'm trying to do when you go to my website is to show you that I can do that stuff and and that can um, and that I could get a commission and I will provide mm -hmm. same quality. You know, mm -hmm. and it will be like that. And I'm a nice guy. That those stuff. <laughs> right? uh, those two things. And, yeah. and I think if you could do that with your website, I'm sure that someone is going gonna, is gonna to call you and, and get a project. Yeah. Uh, try to get a project from you, for sure. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's very hard to create that trust mm -hmm. with a website. You know, it's, it's, yes. like, it's, not, it's not you. It's just the mm -hmm. selection of works that you do and kind of like the explanation of how you, mm -hmm. you did that. Um, yeah, I, I feel that's key, you know, it's just like try to think how, what is the best way to create trust? Yeah. I don't know what do you think. I, I, you have an amazing website. Yeah, you? no. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a first, first of all, Adam, first of all, to you, man. I also have anxiety. 
uh, it's been treated. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's it's something people don't talk about anxiety or people are shy to talk about it. And I feel like in our industry, there's a lot of people that don't know how to deal with an anxiety and they feel this anxiety and stress and depression because of work, because in the end of the day, we have to pay the bills and we are artists. And sometimes we feel frustrated because we are not able to put out what we want to put out, you know, and that develops all kinds of mental uh, issues and, and people yeah. are, are still shy to talk about it or they don't know how to talk about it. So just, you know, like there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you have anxiety, it's okay. A lot of people, I do have anxiety. So just yeah. talk to a therapy, a therapist and, you know, there's help for that. So uh, for working remotely, I can tell you, and based on my experience, there's a bunch of cool studios like Odd Fellows and Buck. Buck's now more open to, to work remotely. And I felt like if there's one thing that we can take uh, as a positive side of this COVID thing is that people were learning how to work remotely. People were learning how to trust other people. We don't have like to be refining this, you know, specific space to produce art. So I feel like people will be more open, will be more willing to, to work with several uh, uh, professionals all over the world, you know, they will have more options, you know, to choose. They will have more, in terms of business, you know, they will have more options. They will have more different styles, you know, yeah. like, and, yeah. and it, I think it would no, be great. I feel, you know, like, is there, um, like, I work a lot like that, and I suppose you work, like, mm -hmm. a lot like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you should, I, sh I, I should send emails to people that I don't know, but mm -hmm. I like their work, and it's like, hey, I have this project, hope yep. you like my stuff. Present to me, I'm Sebastian, illustrations, you know? And um, sometimes I get answers. Uh -huh. Sometimes I don't get any answers. You know, like that's it. That's um, it. No. But, um, yeah, but um, if you get um, if you create a website that shows you know your work and your work is amazing, I feel that's uh, that's something that is gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, I should also say that um, when I when we left LA and we went to Canada, I was having you know mental illness. It, it is a See? thing. We graphic designers and, we and have animation that. industry, we, we just work more than eight hours a day, mm -hmm. every day, except Saturdays and Sundays, right? But sometimes <laughs> yes. we, we work on weekends yes. and, and we usually don't do a lot of exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, we usually don't eat very healthy and, and we, we get these high profile projects so we can feel the pressure. Yeah. And at the end when I was, going to Jen and um, I had I had headaches, neck mm -hmm. problems. So my my health went to went to shit for real yes. uh, mm -hmm. during a couple of months. Um, and I'm a very anxious guy, but I never felt like I I felt like that was normal, you know? Yeah. But at some point it became like a it became like a huge problem. Like a huge mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. Uh so, yeah, for sure. I think, you know, it's something that is very common. I, what I realized is that uh, a lot of my friends will have some kind of um, some kind of problem, you know, or like um, how you say this. Uh, so this uh, they, they will be super anxious or super nervous or mm -hmm. they will be stressed and they will have some kind of uh, result from that. You know, like yes. I have uh, a niching on my arm all the time, you know, or when I go to sleep, my leg it's crumble or mm -hmm. my neck is not moving or I have headaches or uh, I have dizziness. I, have, yeah. I don't know, like so, so many problems that you could get from just about posture and, and working or being stressed. Uh, we should, we should talk more about that. You know, I, yeah. at the beginning, I didn't know what, what was happening to me. You know, I, I, I had this dizziness. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you, you had it, but it's yeah. very uncomfortable mm -hmm. and I couldn't concentrate. You know, I, I think the worst that I was, I think I could work like two hours tops a day mm -hmm. and I will be on, on the bed. Like when we had to move to Vancouver, I couldn't do the moving really well because uh, I couldn't stand up. Uh, but um, I was super worried about that. Yeah. I was like, yeah. well, what is happening? Dude, yeah. I'm going to die. Oh, yeah. So, and it was nice after just going to doctors and asking a lot to friends that yep. um, it's something that it 
could happen if you just work too much um, and don't do exercise and don't eat. It's healthy. it's it's part it's part of the industry, man. It's part of this, it's, uh, it's this thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I have a question from uh, Blue. Uh, can yeah. you talk about the ups and downs of working as a solo artist? How often you bring other projects, other own projects, just to hire people to work with you? Uh, how you bring I others on? I yeah, usually, I so yeah, I usually. You're a solo, right? I am a solo, yeah. So yeah, yeah uh, I feel that there is two sides. You know, I, I am this guy that wants to have a lot of control over the mm -hmm. work that he does. Mm -hmm. So I feel being a solo illustrator kind of works for me because mm -hmm. I'm just a struggle with me. Yeah. It's just like, okay, I'm going to redo this another time and nobody complains. Mm -hmm. uh, but then um, when I do animation, I usually try to to bring people along because it's just too much work. Mm -hmm. And for example, now, like now I'm doing a project with Kendike uh -huh. Barone and I'm doing a project with Wanderlust. Um, that is this studio from Halifax, from yes, Canada. Yes, I know. I know them. Great um, people. To that, and I feel those are the two. When you're in studio, also you do a lot of projects. So I think those those are the ones that I'm working with people. Mm -hmm. um, and I usually try to to keep it simple. You know, like one or two persons, and they should be. I, I try to find people that really cares about the project that we are doing. Um, mm -hmm. And that's something really hard to find uh, mm -hmm. because it's not that they don't care about the job they do. It's just that maybe my project is not in the same direction that they want to push their portfolios, you know? Um, like, for example, my stuff, it's character, uh, traditional animation and characters, you know? And sometimes, I don't know, like I approach to some animator and they're like, I don't think I'm going to do a lot of character animation, you know? Mm -hmm. Or like, I would prefer to do long format uh, videos instead of social media loops. And I do a lot of small stuff just because I'm a freelance and I like to have this control over the pieces that I do. If I mm -hmm. do 60 seconds of animation, it's really hard to get control of the stuff that I do. So I try to keep it very short. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, th those are the, the things that I try to see when, when I bring people on. Um, talented people, friendly. They want to put extra stuff on the stuff that yes, I do. Yes, uh, I agree. That, that, that extra means more time, uh, mm -hmm. always. It's just like that. It's the same money that you're going to get, but more time. Um, more time. But I, but I do a lot of extra stuff. You know, I, 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 really, I really push uh, whatever is on my team. And, and I, I'm very upfront with that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm like, hey, we're going to do, uh, like, with this, this stuff that we're doing with Simon, you know, with the hands. I was like, hey, Simon, let's do this. He sent me uh, some sculpture. We, mm. It was amazing. It was really good. It was just, it was done. And I was like, hey, what if uh, we switch this to the two? So I, I spent a day doing Photoshop with that hand. I just changed it. I sent him something better. He was like, this is awesome, but I'm going to have to redo it from scratch. Yes. So he says Simon he did it all, <laughs> all, all again, and we he sent me that again, and I I brought a, a friend of mine from Argentina that he does a lot of rendering stuff and like beautiful, um, just lighting and shading stuff, and he he spent like two or three weeks working on that uh, oh. composition. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, of course not every day, you know, but uh, I think he's. It's been it's been going for three weeks or something, and he's been sending whips and and dailies um, to to nail something, and we have something now. But uh -huh. I feel uh, at the beginning, the first the first steal that Simon sent me, it was amazing. It was really good, you know. That's it was cool. just me. It was just me poking, you know, like hey, let's do better, you know, like and and that can be um, can be stressful, you know, can be annoying, can be so many all those things. Um, so I don't know. I just try to be like very transparent and honest when someone works with me, I usually try to push them. Yeah. Uh, and that's kind of my way of, of, of working. You know, I know that you can do good, but what if you do 
better, you know, and, 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 and I try, and I'm, Agreed. I'm an animator or illustrator, so I give you very specific feedback that how this could be. And I feel that we, we usually, the people that is on the team, we agree yeah. that it could, look, it's going to look better if we do that, yep. but it's, but it's so much work. So, so much we work. try to balance that and, and we do more work. Yeah. And we try to yeah. push that. Um, yeah. Man, it's so great, dude. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep you too much. So let's go for a, a, a last question here. Thank you. Uh, I have a question, a great question from Gia Kia. Sorry, because I'm reading like sideways. It's so hard to see your name here. Gia Kalgiya. I have a really hard name. I'm sorry, man, if I pronounce your name wrong. But he has a really nice question. Uh, how do you think about uh, how to deal with your own vanity as an artist, especially having a strong, unique style? Like if you're dealing with a, a client, for example, like let's say not Apple, but I don't know, any client you want. And how do you deal with notes? Because they're giving notes in something that you, is it okay? You know, yeah, I think, you know, uh, I, I think you should understand that I am an artist, but I come from advertising yeah. very strongly from advertising. So I work 12 years in studios, um, and not, not always an amazing studio like back or old fellows or Le Cube mm -hmm. or plenty, you know, like good studios that they have a unique style and you get some respect. I yeah. also work in like very, just like normal studios, you know, like just, normal work every day, nobody cares about that work. You're not gonna see anything, uh, portfolio, any material for our portfolio uh, in those studios. And, and you, get, you get crazy notes like, hey, let's do it from scratch. Um, this is awful or whatever, you know, like something that is not uh, very respectful. Um, mm -hmm. So of course that I have a vanity, but I think, you know, it's something that you build and you know when you pull um, use that and say, hey, you know, I'm an artist. Uh, please respect the stuff that I'm doing yeah. for you. Um, yeah. And all, all the times, you know, usually what it happens is that when it's a collaboration with a client, uh, it's a commission. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's mm -hmm. the way that I see it is uh, if I get a commission from a client, they, I understand one side of it and they yep. understand the other one. Mm -hmm. So we should find a middle ground. And, yep. and that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's um, cool, I'm very strict with that said, you know, I'm very strict with timings and schedules, deliveries. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't miss any deadline or any round of revision, mm -hmm. but, I, but I'm very strict on the amount of revisions that we have. You know, if we have, I don't know, like four rounds of revisions, yep. we're going to do four rounds of revisions. That's and it. they're going to be perfect, you know, but then fifth is like, we had four rounds of revisions. You know, we had a you contract. Are, you were an like, artist, but beyond that, you were a professional, right? Yeah, I, I think I, I get how to, I don't know, I, I feel that there is a standard on how we work. Some, mm -hmm. I feel some persons don't know how the industry works. So sometimes they ask, mm -hmm. sometimes they, they just push because uh, they don't have any money and they have to push, you know, it's just like, okay, we, I need to provide to my client if you mm -hmm. have an agency in the middle, it can get uh, sometimes nasty, you know, but I, I really try to be really honest, you know, like at mm -hmm. the beginning, we sign an agreement with the rules of the project. Uh, I am usually very open and very keen to do changes if they are on a schedule mm -hmm. and I do them, I do them all. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm really nice um, uh, partner to work with just uh -huh. because I, You're good I do... I, yeah, I do alternative options. I do just, hey, you know, here's the safe version. He's uh, three other versions and here are like five yep. other versions because why not? Because I, I feel they work, you know, and they choose one or two. <laughs> I do that, fineness, you know, and what about this yeah, one? That yeah. boom, was something new. And then we have to paint everything and we paint everything. But then it's like, hey, what if, you know, change the background and also this is going to work I don't know, a square version, but also the portrait. And also why, uh, what? I, I always try to care about the job that we are doing, you know, they're gonna use this in a, in a cell phone, but also, you know, in, in TV. So they have to apply this stuff to, to other things. And mm -hmm. 
I'm I'm just a part of the I don't know the the stuff that we are doing. So I I usually try to I I try to be careful. You know, I'm very sure. respectful of the work that we do, and I, I, until the end, you know, I'm just like doing stuff so this looks awesome. Because sometimes, you know, you do something nice, you just don't care, do the illustration, send Boom. it, and they're gonna do what they can, you know, to put it out there, but they need to add stuff, they need to adapt that illustration to other places, mm -hmm. and sometimes that looks really bad. Yeah, I agree with you, yeah. man. It happens a lot. Uh, so yeah, I try to, I don't know, I, I try to be friendly, you know, and, and I'm really honest um, with the stuff that we do as a collaboration and um, I'm very critical of the work that I do. You know, I, I can present something and say, hey, we didn't have time. I feel this uh, version is the best one that we have. Maybe we could ask for more time because we're going to get something better. If not, mm -hmm. uh, let's do this and this. Uh, but this is not excellent. Uh, this is what we have because of the timing that we have. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you compromise. And, and totally I agree. feel... I'm an artist, you know, so I will say, hey, you know, what are we doing? I need more time to do this properly. Um, mm -hmm. but, I, but, I, but I understand that um, I could do it my way when I want, you know, without being paid. So if I want to be paid, uh, the job is that one, you know, like you have to do this in this amount of time yeah. with, with these requirements, with these amount of provisions, uh, and the client has to like it. And that's the job. That's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice yeah, way to sure. see it. Nice way to see it. Well, Sebas, man, thank you, was, man. It was so nice to catch up, man, with you. Uh, I'm, I'm so it happy to see that you're great. It's so good to see your face again. Uh, that you were, <laughs> and Mika, the, you guys are great. And hopefully, to see some of your, some of her rugs with your illustrations on it. We're gonna do something. See, yeah, 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 we're gonna do something. Let us know. Let for us sure. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, any, thank you for inviting me. Any, any last uh, final, final words to the world seeing you right now? No, no. Just, just thank you, thank you for for joining. Uh, there were a lot of people um, listening to us. Um, thank you. That's great, man. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, yeah, hope to talk to you soon, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye, Sebas. Bye, bye.